Hi everyone, welcome to run 4 from the Rapid. <clears throat> so, just like in the first Rapid, I've had a really strong start, but this time against much stronger players rather than players low rated. And um, I was rewarded actually with my opponents had the same ECF as me actually at 169 and John Garnett, but he's three days about 300 points higher. And this is, this is not going to be an easy game, especially when after he opened with D4. Now usually I thought he plays the English, but um, I was an autopilot and just whacked out one night of six instantly, which seems harmless, except I completely forgot that he does occasionally play the Tromposki. And when he played this, I'd effectively resigned at this point because I absolutely hate the Tromposki that much. I just never play one night of six in case I get it, it's too risky. Um, I don't have a line against it at all. I actually know nothing about the Tromposki. The only line I sort of know is the E6 one. But it's not nice to face, because after e4, h6. Oh, yes, you've got the two bishops, but White just gets this massive, easy to play game with his massive center. Play d6 to stop any m e5. <coughs> Queen d2. b6. I think at some point I need to consider playing c5, perhaps, to put some pressure on White's center. But this is actually quite bad to knight b5. But I've got knight a6. Sid knight f3, we've got takes, takes, bishop d7. So we've got two bishops, three, two knights, but a very bad pawn structure. But maybe this is tenable. I played b6, left the castle's queen side, ready to hack me up if I castle king side. I played bishop b7, but I think, this is, I, think I should be playing bishop a6. Because, um,. I've got less space, so I want to swap pieces off, and although it I'll breaks on my bishop pair, um, white can maybe play something like queen e2, and then actually knight back to b8 should be fine. And um, at least I've got a pair of pieces off. With the bishop e7, now he takes more space with f4, and now he's going to blast him with e5 next turn, so I'm going to queen back to his start square, very right? embarrassingly, knight came out. And this is just so easy for white to play, I mean, what, I mean, it's just anyone can play this, um, I mean, even um, that this, uh, there's this guy um, here at the um, weekend, um, so it turns the weekend of a grade 15, and um, he played Common Guard though, and he lost seven pieces in the first 20 moves, won't resign, and then sat there at the end, completely dumbfounded for about three hours, just sat there, occasionally glancing at the board next to him, he was just sat there, and Lee goes up to him and says, like, are you okay, mate? And he's like, mm, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good story, and he ended. He withdrew as well with a performance of five. And I think he's lost every single long play game he's ever played. But yeah, that Turnbull could play this position as white. Right. It's that like easy. It's just so easy. You got masses of space. You've got all your pieces to good squares. I'm cramped. Got no space. Knight d7. Bishop d3. Develop another piece before murdering me. Bishop e7. Rook h1. This is giving us equal. This is. I mean, a lot of castling but it's got a bit horrible, it's just, it's just plays g4 and g5 and there's nothing I can do to avoid getting hacked. So I played c5 because desperate times cause for desperate, desperate measures but this makes it worse. He played d5 and I thought if I play e5 takes, takes, so we'll take this form first, takes, 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 white has got a protected pass pawn in fact after this move I've got to my king. So this is quite bad. But it's better than book c8. Because he just took. I took back. And I'm bishop c4. And in fact I'm lost now. I move 14. So I've got to play knight f8 now. This knight comes in. Fucking a7 and d6. I, I decided to get rid of his knight. Everything comes off. I play b5 which makes it worse. Because this pawn drops as well. And then I left the rook on pretty as well. I usually blundered the rook and then resigned. Because <laughs> I was that shocked, but I had a lot of bad loss this game. It was the first game to finish in the whole tournament, this. I don't think I've ever played a game so badly. But the fact is, I do, not hate, I do hate the Trompos again. I would never, I never allow it. So, of course, from now on, no one knight f6 in autopilot. And one e6 from now on. Or one g6 or one f5 or anything but one knight f6. If I was to play Grunfeld, I'm just going to play 1g6 and hopefully don't play e4 or something. 
I just, I just cannot play against Champoska. I think you should for the Champoska should be like an illegal substance, or maybe a death penalty if you play it or something. Electric chair if anybody plays the Champoska against me. Like I have this friend who I always play Blitz with, and I've never played one that is six ever against him because he plays the young Champoska. <laughs> I just will not allow anyone to play against me. But on this, it was just complete autopilot. So yeah, that was a horrendous day, a horrendous game. That's probably a game that I felt like getting the score sheet, scrumping it up and to 52 pieces and throwing it in, throwing it into the sea. But still, two out of four is respectable, and um, could do. I think if I win one more game, then there'll be a good performance or two draws. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed me um, getting hammered there. T Uni gets hammered, and um, stay tuned for the um, next video. Um, so thanks very much. Oh, and please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.